demolition still hasn't been put in the Hall of Fame. Some people that were in the concussions lawsuit have come back on good terms with WWE uh, s- since, such as Sylvain Grenier, who, who's been an agent since that lawsuit. What was so bothersome about that Bill Eady lawsuit that it seems like WWE is still holding a grudge about it to this day? Right. So there's two lawsuits. The first one that you're referring to was one that Bill, where Bill sued basically because he said he was underpaid based on his merchandise and also his payoffs for his run in as in demolition. And that you know, he had actually helped create the the gimmick of demolition and it wasn't Vince that had created it. And, uh, and, and Bill went through in the lawsuit and he showed, he's like, look, um, on these early pay-per-views, we were getting maybe a better payoff than we would get for a regular house show, but they weren't calculating our pay based on the pay-per-view revenue and receipts. So Vince was making a killing in those early pay-per-views because he, you know, he had the live gate, but then he had all the money, way, way more money coming from the uh, pay-per-view receipts that the talent wasn't really getting maybe hulk hogan got it there the top talent but not the the under underneath guys and you know when so with with bill like in suing vince most people would fold very quickly bill stretched out for 10 years on that lawsuit refusing to settle ultimately he settled but it was for an amount he was very happy with so i think that that's a big reason is that bill edy and he told me that at one point it was just it wasn't even about the details of the lawsuit. It was on principle that he wanted to stick it out with Vince. And, um, you know, Bill basically it came down to him. Bill said that Vince was not a man of his word and that, you know, Bill was I mean, when I was interviewing Bill, he, he got emotional talking about how his father, his his father, uh, one of his father's biggest principles was being a man of your word. And, you know. Bill always stuck, uh, follow that and how disappointed he was that Vince had not, because Vince had also promised to make him an agent when he retired in late 1991 or 1990, rather his last match was at the survivor series. And Bill was, had been told by Vince, he was going to be an agent. And then Vince, when it came time to hire him said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to hire him.